What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we are getting a new fusion next week um it looks like it's going to be an interesting one we'll talk about who it should be for and have a complete breakdown of the kit and the skills but yeah it looks like it'll be a pretty interesting champion um we'll see i'm sort of on the fence at the moment if i'm gonna go so the new fusion coming is scored the half spawn i'm a little bit disappointed it's not a dog we're not getting a hound for shyak but, um, you know, maybe they'll come further down the line. I'm hoping it's not going to be some mega whale fest. Um, I'm hoping that everyone should be able to get their hound when they drop it. We yeah, scored the half spawn. So it looks like he's going to be an interesting champion. I kind of like the aesthetics apart from that face. That is the face only a mother could love. I mean, pretty, pretty horrendous. It's bugging me out a little bit. Um, but yeah, so let's start with the passive. Oh, actually... In fact, so he's an attack champion, which I feel like this guy is a weaker version of Michi, Michinaki, the awesome defense champion. Like if you see the damage he pumps out, I feel like Skorid is like a weaker version of him. Being attacked, not as tanky. Um, obviously, can probably, I reckon he's going to be able to pump out some decent damage, um, but does have an interesting kit. So passive, half spawn. Fills this champion's term by 10% when attacking targets without hex. So that's pretty cool. It means he's going to be getting at least 10% every turn. Um, on his AoE, there's a chance to get 40% if you haven't land Hex, but you probably will land Hex. And I mean, I guess one thing to think about now is you could do it like you do with Trunda, where by not having accuracy on Scorid, it means that you could get loads of turn meter boost. So that's interesting, but I'm guessing he probably benefits a lot more from landing Hex. So kind of makes sense to put a bit of accuracy on him. So we ignore 15% of the target's defense when they're under a hex debuff. That is pretty good. Stick him in Savage. Um, if you're already getting extra, um, ignore defense from your um, Great Hall as well. It all adds up. I mean, he should probably melt through people. So that's, that's what really makes me interested in this guy. Infernal Mal Dictation. Freaking hell, guys. I can't even pronounce that. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna try. So his A3 on a full turn cooldown goes down to three. Um, attacks all enemies, so it's an AoE here. Before attacking, places Hex debuff. So that's cool. So we're going to place the Hex first, get that ignore defense if it lands, um, and it's for two turns. The damage inflicted by this skill is increased by 20% for each Hex debuff placed. Nice. So obviously Hex, uh, sorry, with Hydra, um, you know, four heads, that's 80% extra damage. Heals this champion by 20% of their max HP for each hex debuff resisted or blocked. Okay, so if it's resisted or blocked, we're getting, you know, we're getting a bit of healing as well, which is nice. Um, but it's a bit of a shame. Like, I just feel that obviously having to put accuracy on him does lower sort of the damage potential that he has. And um, you're going to have to maybe drop stats somewhere, like either drop your attack a little bit on the banner or maybe drop a little bit of speed for that accuracy but he's definitely going to need accuracy and then oh my god guys and anatathema <laughs> anthema burst attacks one enemy so this is a2 again on a three turn cooldown it's nice that his skills are on a very very low cooldown so before attacking places increased buff on the champion for two turns repeats the attack on all enemies under hex debuff and this will ignore shield buff against targets under the hex debuff so that's pretty nice that's two aoe hitters so i imagine this guy is going to do some decent damage the only problem is though shield buff is kind of irrelevant on hydra and obviously i keep talking about hydra this guy just screams hydra his kit looks like it's pretty much just made for it um and then we've got his a1 which is a made up word um hex prior hex priory Hex prey? <laughs> oh my god, guys. Um, I'm dyslexic, guys. Let it go. Let it go. So it's A1. Attacks one enemy. Has a 50% chance of applying um defense. Uh, sorry, debuff spread. I'm a big fan of debuff spread. And that books up to 60%. Yeah, so 60%. It's not bad. Um, taking a hex debuff and placing it on all enemies. So he's gonna spread it across the board. Um, it doesn't say if it's going to work on weak hits, so not sure about that, but hopefully 
you know, especially that head of mischief, it does screw me over a lot. So it's going to be nice for that. And if the target is under, sorry, if the target isn't under a hex debuff, we'll spend one other random debuff instead. That's nice. I think that's a pretty solid A1. And it's probably going to go. So if we say we do A3 first, because we're going to need to open up with that. We're going to land, need to land hex. Um, you definitely want to be taking um, in the masteries. Um, the what is it? Not sniper. Oh, I can't remember. There's of ends of the support tree. There's one that will give you know make your buffs last longer. So definitely take that. Um, yeah, but yeah. So all about landing that hex. So A3. So that's three turns. Then we do the burst, which is on the A2. So that's two turns. Then we do the hex on the A1. And then we go back around to A3. So we're going to be cycling around very, very quickly. So I think this guy is going to be, going to be. I think I'm definitely going to go for it. I can see this guy doing a lot of damage. Um, I'm struggling in Hydra. You know, I can one key Nightmare, but I'm not on the same level as my teammates. I need to, I need to step up my game. So yeah, it definitely makes sense to me. I think this is going to be a good champion for most players, um, especially in Hydra. Probably not for end game whales and big spenders, but free to play. I think free to play end game. Yes, if you're sort of trying to progress and stuff, I think another yes. So I think most people should go for this guy. Obviously, use your own discretion. Um, and let's check out some of the Hydra. Uh, the Hydra some of the hex champions that will pair up nicely. So let's check out our champions. Just going to show you guys a little trick. If you go to filter, scroll down, go to debuffs, we'll choose hex, and that will show me the champions that I've got that can that, that will synergize with him. So Mithrala, obviously, there's no benefit really. She doesn't get any gain from hex being on the enemy. Um, but Thea Two Mage, she can actually smack. This is a pretty bad build, to be honest. Very, very average stats, but she can smack. Even in this build, she does a lot of damage. So, you know, if I could get her up to, I don't know, say 320 crit damage, maybe 6.5k at least on the attack, I think they'd pair up very nicely. And it's all about her A2. So basically, you know, again with the Hex, very similar to um, Skirod. Skirod? Skirod? Um, damage increased by 50% for each Hex debuff on the enemy, up to 300. So on Hydra, that's going to be an extra 200 damage so that's very very nice and yeah i would say she's probably the best out of all the hex champions um cleopatrix or cleopatra not really a big fan of her um i don't think she smacks that hard but again she could pair up i guess she doesn't seem to really benefit from champions uh, sorry from the enemy being under hex so yeah, don't feel like it's really going to work too much with her, but she's another option. Rule also, um, what's my rule in? Again, pretty bad gear, um, just an average build. It's just, you know, there's so many champions these days that, you know, I just steal gear and I don't, I don't, I think I just use rule for one secret, like, well, one of the rooms or one of the floors on, um, Cursey, so that's literally all he's getting used for. Um, but yeah, he's kind of again, he's a little bit stat hungry. He does have increased accuracy though. But he will ignore defense for every hex debuff. So yeah, kind of makes sense. Yeah, so I'll say Rule and Thea have really good potential with this fusion. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I I think for me, it's definitely gonna be a go for. Obviously, think about your account. Don't just do what I say. And also wait for those guys that have access for the test servers to test them out. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be a good one. I'm pumped for it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.